yeah, I started learning French about 21 or later and maybe like moved into medium French level at 25 or something. And then I was living in France at 30. I've been working now for six years as a French immersion teacher. So it's been a journey and I was not a kid and I didn't go to French immersion or French camps or traveling abroad as a high school or anything. So I really feel like it's for anybody. Pourquoi? Comment? Je suis Jamie Lynn Fontenot. Je suis maîtresse de français à Lafayette, um, à l'école primaire, et j'habite à Lafayette, Louisiane. Pourquoi? Why did you learn French? Uh, um, I learned French because I always thought French was really exotic and cool because my grandparents spoke French and we stayed with them a lot on and off when I was little and um, I always begged my grandma to kind of teach me French and she wouldn't teach my mom so I don't know why I thought she would teach me. So I got these little tapes, you know, I don't even know where I got them but probably the library and a little headset and I kind of started like listening to them all the time and there was these little books that went with them that taught like little words and sentences and phrases and I thought it was super cool and I never got to take sports or anything when I was a kid and also none of my other brothers and sisters ever learned it so it was kind of my thing. Come on, how did you go about learning French? Well the way that I really worked on learning French here in New Orleans, when I lived there, I would go to these really awkward French meetups. Sometimes I would meet the people and sometimes I would never even find them because it was all like email then, I guess. Or like you said, I, I like to put always the subtitles on in French or Spanish or French in this case. And just then you see all the time and watch hilarious stuff like girl shows or whatever, where there's lots of slang or lots of like newer shows, but in French and see what they're saying for the things that, what you're hearing, and you will spend so many hours just laughing, like, oh my God, that's how one would say this. Like, I would never think of it that way, but it's hours of delight doing that. Um, I put my phone in French, which has the directions in French, which is, used to be pretty comical. Um, and that has changed some things for me to have Google Maps in French, or it did years ago. I've gotten myself into some great pickles doing that. But anyway, so then I started just kind of learning some songs and playing guitar and listening to songs more. And I remember I would just try to write down and learn the lyrics to songs that made sense to me and remember them like a story in my head. Then you had to know the words to remember the story. And then I just knew more and more and more songs. And then it became like I knew 300 or something Cajun songs. Like, and then I felt like it was a lot harder then at the time to like listen, listen over and over and over and write the songs down and learn them. And now, I, I did it today actually for Forrest for this song, Avance et trop tard. And I'm like, oh, I'm only missing a few words. And now it's just so much easier. And I thought then it was so hard. Un petit conseil? Got a tip? Vote in French, subtitles in French, try to make yourself go on some little trips, learn some songs, listen to news in French. It's all good. I am visual, so I love to write things down, like words and sentences. And even when I was like 20 learning with my grandma, I would like write down a whole page like of words and then put the English words next to them. My friend Lauren like puts these little kind of post-its all over her house like that I find so cute that just say like in her beautiful cursive, like the placard for whatever. And I find that beautiful and simple to do. I think that you can learn French at any time in your life and honestly for me I've thought about it many times and I feel like it's easier when you're older because you have your whole mindset on like I'm gonna do this thing if I want to do it and you can do it and you have like the maturity to have the discipline to say I'm gonna learn French or I'm gonna learn the violin at age 25, 35, 45, whatever it is, 65 and you can actually follow through with it because you've decided that you really want something. It's not somebody else giving it to you. It's not somebody else telling you you should be in 
French immersion or you should be in French lessons or you should go to French tables. It's kind of a decision you can take on your own. And honestly, I feel like I learned better as an adult than I did as a child. So to me, I would encourage anyone to learn French whenever they want and start wherever they're at. Merci d'avoir été ça. To find out how to get involved, visit us online.